Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about the iPhone 6s and the iPhone 6s Plus running on iOS 14. And now there's mixed results. Let's start with features. Now in terms of features, everything, mostly every feature on newer devices are also here on this device. The iPhone 6s or 6s Plus are about five years old now and Apple continues to support these devices. Some of the latest features like picture in picture where you can watch a video as you browse through the OS, these features are available here on the iPhone 6s and 6s Plus. Now also the widgets as you can see here on the home screen are available as well. We have the widget panel, the customization of widgets, edit and add widgets, everything is fully featured here as well. You can add new widgets and things like that as you can see here. And I've been using this device a little over 24 hours and my results are also mixed as well. Now I've seen other forums where users are having a great experience and some users are having a really terrible experience. So let's take a deep dive here into some of the features and performance. So first up, 3D Touch is working really great as intended, opening and closing control center, the app switcher, everything else is working as intended, scrolling and changing through applications no hiccups no problems in that department 3d touch is actually very snappy on the iphone 6s plus and the iphone 6s now the app library feature is also featured here as well as you can see here on this iphone 6s plus and one feature you guys have been asking about that is the back tap to activate a certain function so on the newer devices if you double tap or triple tap you can bring up the control center and things like that by simply tapping the back of the device and this doesn't work on these older devices like the 6s, 6s plus, if we go to accessibilities, we go to touch, you don't find that feature. Unlike the iPhone 11, if we go to the accessibility options and then we go to touch all the way at the bottom, we see it back tap. That is the feature that's missing here on the iPhone 6s plus. But in terms of other very, very useful features like picture in picture, the new Siri UI, everything else in terms of widgets is definitely here on the iPhone 6S. So feature-wise, performance-wise, Bluetooth, cell connection, everything else, Wi-Fi is working really, really good on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. Now, in terms of mixed results, why do I say that? Well, there's one thing that's major here with the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, and again, this is beta one, so it is subject to change in the future. Hopefully, Apple will improve upon the software, but the battery actually drops dramatically uh, from one percentage to another in terms of minutes. So I'm talking five to six percent of battery drops in terms of two minutes now this happens sporadically it doesn't happen all the time it doesn't happen with every device 6s or 6s plus but it is uh, something that most users are complaining about some users see the drastic battery drop and some users do not now if we go to battery health here there's a new message on my iPhone 6s plus here it says important battery message the battery health is significantly degraded on this iPhone and a service provider needs to replace the battery on this iPhone but how However, you see here that it says maximum capacity at 79. I've never seen this message at a 79%. Now, peak performance also says that it is at peak performance. So in terms of performance, everything is good. So these two things sort of contradict themselves. It says the battery needs to be replaced. However, your battery is currently supported by normal peak performance. So that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I think there's something wrong how the battery percentage is being presented. The software may have a hiccup, but I haven't been getting all day battery life on this device. I've been using it a little over 24 hours and it looks like this device is having mixed results with different users using the iPhone 6s and 6s plus. But let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. This has been a quick first look at beta one for iOS 14 on the iPhone 6s plus. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Peace.